The important thing they know is that this is a real aircraft, at least from the standpoint of the avionics systems and the software that runs on it, this is a real UH-60 Victor Blackhawk aircraft. Real hardware, real software, just in a lab. So that's the takeaway from the SIL here. It's not a simulation, it's not a, it's not a trainer or a game, it is a real aircraft in a lab. UHPO has wanted a SIL to, to follow the development and initial fielding of the 60 Victor aircraft, and we can do that testing concurrently with them here from you know, soup to nuts, actually. In terms of the performance of the systems, we want to make those differences as few as possible because we really want you to be experiencing the full functionality of the real systems as if they were in flight. We can sit down, we can do it you know, here in the lab for little more than the cost of keeping the lights on once we have the facility here. So all the preliminary testing, a lot of regression testing, a lot of the routine stuff we want to have done here before it ever gets to the aircraft or to do in complement with the aircraft to do on aircraft the things that can only be done in real flight tests. Again, our purpose is not to train pilots. Our purpose is to bring pilots in to let them test the software and make sure it works the way they need it to. And that by complementing what, the, what, we, what we do in our airfield over at our flight test directorate, we can do a better job of wringing out the functionality of complex software before we ever give it to the warfighter. So they have, they have an important mission to do. We need to give them the best tools we can.